Hi, I'm Bryce, and I'd love to walk you through some interactivity basics in the Animatron Editor using the Actions tool. Possibly the most common use for interactivity on the internet is your standard web advertisement. Click on the ad, go to its designated URL, as simple as it gets. For the sake of saving some time, I've previously created this web banner animation we'll use to entice the potential customer to click on it. So let's start with the click. I'll first select my Actions tool, found in the toolbar. When selected, our Inspector panel changes to our Actions library, showing us all of our potential action choices. In our case, we want to eventually open URL, but let's first choose the event that will get us there. So, we can reveal the Events tab by clicking here. Now, we can choose between the various events that can be used to initiate our open URL action for our web advertisement. For our web banner, we can simply drag and drop the click action to the object or layer of choice. But as you can see, the action is trying to append to all of the various shapes or objects currently visible on the canvas. So alternatively, we can apply our actions more accurately by directly selecting the layer of the chosen object first. Once the layer is selected, you can simply drag and drop the click event onto the script stack area above. Great! Now we just need to add the open URL action and provide a link for our ad to send the customer to the right place. Click on the Actions tab and drag and drop open URL to the script stack, and you will now see how our click event points to the resulting open URL action. Now we can click on the open URL text field and either type in or copy and paste the desired URL. And there we go. Our script stack shows us that when we click on this object, it will open our desired URL. All that's left is to publish our HTML5 clip, with Auto Start and Loop checked on, so the web banner animation starts as soon as it is loaded on your website, and will continue to loop until the customer decides to click on the ad. Uh-oh! It appears we can only click on this exact object to bring us to our URL, but ideally, we want the entire banner to be clickable, to make it more convenient for the customer to commit to the advertisement. So, let's do a little trick that will help you bypass this limited click action area. We need an area that fills the whole banner, but we have no objects throughout our animation that we can use to do this. So let's add one by creating a rectangle over all of the other objects in the scene. I'll select the Rectangle tool and draw my rectangle onto the canvas. As long as this rectangle covers the entire canvas area, the click area will work. But for the sake of reusing this clickable template later, I'll note the dimensions of my canvas and change the rectangle's dimensions to match it. Then, I can simply use the Alignment tool to center it to the canvas. All that's left to do is lower its opacity to 0% and apply the actions with the Actions tool. Be sure to remove the actions from all other objects in your scene before publishing. And there we go! Now the customer can click on the whole banner and reach the URL destination with ease.